In recent weeks, there has been an upsurge in new features as it pertains to AI. The recent AI race has ignited the inquisitiveness of many. Every day, we are faced with novel developments in the industry that are simply mind-blowing, and there's this constant longing to know more and understand the next big thing about this technology. Judging by recent developments, OpenAI is at the forefront of the AI race. This is true when we consider the rapid growth recorded by OpenAI in the development of the GPT program. Up until now, many companies are yet to achieve the things that OpenAI has done with the GPT program. More advancements are expected from the program and this expectation got higher with the anticipation of the chat GPT-5. However, as we must have learned from our previous videos, the development of the chat GPT-5 has been put on hold as a result of safety precautions as now announced by the OpenAI CEO in an interview at MIT. As much of the excitement grows when some of these amazing features following the development of AI are announced, some of the things that you will see in this video might be outright frightening, but somehow you cannot help but be amazed by them. Human evolution has been filled with ideas that are thought to be only fantasies and something you can only imagine when reading a comic book, but somehow many of these end up being our reality. The GPT project in recent times has started going beyond a platform where you enter your queries and get answers. In recent advancements, the GPT program has been found with the ability to read the mind. Yeah, that's right. In a recent experiment carried out on some human subjects, the program was able to decode the story being read from an fMRI scan of the brain of the subjects. Mind you, this was something that could only be done in the past through brain implants. One can't help but think how this will come in handy in the management of cases of people with certain medical conditions that impair speech. In reaction to the project, in an interview by The Guardian, Dr. Alexander Huth, a neuroscientist who was the head of the research at the University of Texas at Austin, comments, We were kind of shocked that it works as well as it does. I've been working on this for 15 years, so it was shocking and exciting when it finally did work. In further comments on the project, Dr. Alexander further highlights that the project had breached the gap that exists in the imaging of brain activities. The fMRI succeeds in tracking brain activities to particular spots in the brain, but this happens over time, which makes it difficult to capture those thoughts. But with the introduction of the GPT technology into the research, the large language model has been able to successfully read the brain activities on a semantic level. Reading the activity on a semantic level primarily means that the signals are understood and the idea being communicated is captured. This means that thoughts are not captured word for word. Instead, the text generated from this experiment basically communicates the thought. For a better understanding of the technology functioning at a semantic level in the interpretation of brain signals, let's take a look at some of the sample text from the experiment. Here, we'll see the text that were given to the subjects to read while their brain is being monitored and what the AI gives out as interpretation. In this extract from the paper published in the Nature Neuroscience Journal, we see a comparison of the actual stimulus, the original text given to the subjects to read, and the decoded stimulus, which is just what the AI interprets. The first actual stimulus here reads, I got up from the mattress and pressed my face against the glass of the bedroom window, expecting to see eyes staring back at me, but instead finding only darkness. The decoded stimulus on the other hand reads, I just continued to walk up to the window and open the glass. I stood on my toes and peered out. I didn't see anything and looked up again. I saw nothing. From this example, one can easily deduce the meaning from the original text in the decoded one. And the fact that this is happening at this rate at this point in the development of AI is just nothing short of amazing. We will certainly be in for more interesting additions to what we can do with AI in the coming months. However, with this level of sophistication comes new fears and the need for regulations. The bone of contention at the moment is bordered around what will become of human privacy if this is eventually made commonly available. One can imagine the danger if the technology enters the wrong hands and eventually gives access to certain sensitive data. This milestone is, however, a very big leap for the GPT program. Also, OpenAI has introduced another software with potential. Just like the GPT program, the Dolly and Point E, OpenAI has introduced Shape E. This software has the ability to generate 3D images using text, unlike the Dolly, which can only produce 2D images. Explaining how this works, information on the website shows, Shape E is trained on a conditional diffusion model and 3D asset mapping. Mapping 3D assets means that Shapey learns to associate text or images with corresponding 3D models from a large dataset of existing 3D objects. 
A conditional diffusion model is a generative model that starts from a noisy version of the target output and gradually refines it by removing noise and adding details. A glance at the images generated by the software will show that they are very much pixelated and seem so basic. But we look forward to further updates on the software that will produce more realistic images. The amazing thing about the software, however, is the ability to generate these images using a single text. This is because the software has been trained to pair a large number of texts with corresponding 3D images. As we already know, many other companies are coming out with their own version of AI which has made recent times really interesting. Google has been in the spotlight of tech developments for more than two decades and we wait to see if they will be able to retain their place in the tech community. With the development of Google's Bard, we see recent updates that seek to optimize the ability of the AI to give direct summaries to queries and also provide access to direct sources. This is a move to change the regular Google search engine experience where you have to dig through several related searches to queries to get what you want. In other news, Google says it is moving to the large language model that powers Bard from Lambda to Palm. With this upgrade, we expect better performances with regard to handling queries and also the ability to solve math problems. Google has many AI programs going on at the moment, and we hope that they are able to optimize their performance and be able to take a place as leaders in the AI revolution. Another interesting addition to the AI program is the Dino V2 by Meta. This program improves computer vision by identifying individual objects within images and videos. It is a self-supervised learning technique that will aid in the training of other models. And as usual with Meta, this is an open source program. Some say that the reason for creating these open source programs by Meta is because they will like other AI models to be built on something that comes from them. This is one way to remain relevant in the recent competition in the AI industry. The Dino V2 is a significant upgrade to the Dino. From this comparison of the images generated from the two programs, we see that the Dino V2 produces a cleaner image than its predecessor. Next, Microsoft has been doing more behind the scenes with their AI Bing. In a recent update stated in the official Microsoft blog, Microsoft announces the integration of visual capabilities into the Bing chatbot. The announcement on the blog states, We recently announced the integration of Bing Image Creator into the new Bing chat experience, making Bing the only search experience with the ability to generate both written and visual content in one place, from within chat. And today, I'm excited to share that we are expanding Image Creator to all languages in Bing, that's more than 100 languages, so now you can create images in your native language. And moving away from restricted trials, anyone can easily access the chatbot by signing into Bing using your Microsoft login details. This is an improvement that they claim comes as a result of the feedback they have gotten from people over time. There is also an addition of chat history, as against the single chat or search capabilities previously integrated. And as we know, the advancement in AI is moving to cover as many aspects of human daily activities and businesses as possible. This is in a bid to make for more efficient working systems. And we also know that in recent times, the crypto space has been one of the most crucial parts of human existence, with investments running into billions of dollars. Crypto.com has consequently launched an AI assistant called Amy. And this is not in any way to interfere with the market or give predictions. Instead, this assistant is basically for educational purposes on matters bordering on crypto. Amy's functionality is built on OpenAI's ChatGPT program. This will be very handy for newbies that are looking to familiarize themselves with the industry as it is expected to provide near real-time information on crypto space to users. And there have been other explosive and mind-blowing improvements and introductions in the AI industry. Ranging from Blockade Lab's introduction of the Skybox, where you can easily create text to 3D models of game worlds, to ChatGPT getting a worthy rival in Hugging Chat. And tests have shown that Hugging Chat is able to perform really well when interacting with users, sometimes providing more information than ChatGPT. Regulation is still an issue with all these advancements, and not long ago we have seen a tweet from US President Biden acknowledging the importance of AI and its role in modern times, but also calling for proper regulation in order to mitigate risks. And with regard to this, there was a meeting of top AI players and the president where they spoke about taking adequate precautions. Keeping you in touch with recent developments in AI tech remains our topmost priority. Do click the subscribe button and turn on notifications in order to not miss out on any of our other interesting videos.